The former Spokane firefighter arrested for two DUIs in the past two weeks appeared in court today. KXLY 4's Jeff Humphrey is live at the Spokane County Jail where Rebecca Singley was booked early this morning. Jeff. And first, Rebecca Singley was taking those painkillers that were intended for her truly injured patients. And now Spokane police say the former paramedic is drunk driving around Spokane, risking the very same type of car crashes that she used to respond to as a Spokane firefighter. It's Rebecca Singley's second DUI arrest in less than a month. Police say last night Singley hit a parked car here at Northtown Mall and lost consciousness during her sobriety test. April 15th, being only 11 days later, another DUI that uh, you were so intoxicated you had to be taken to the hospital because you passed out. 11 days earlier, police had also found Singley passed out, this time behind the wheel of her parked car here at Queen and Lincoln. That morning, her blood alcohol level was 0 .31, nearly four times the legal limit. 11 days before that, Singley was brought to Spokane's detox center and was apparently so drunk, she allegedly assaulted a police officer. I am confident that you are um, at risk of reoffending. Ma'am, your bond's going to be $10,000. Today, the three alcohol-related incidents in less than a month also prompted the court to order a sobriety installed in Singley's home. Her movements will also be tracked through electronic home monitoring. If you can do that, ma'am, you can get out. If you cannot, then for the safety of the community, you'll have to stay in jail. In fact, Judge Durr was so concerned about the safety of the community that she ordered that electronic home monitoring and that sobriety, a device inside Singley's home that sends real-time blood alcohol readings to probation officers. All of that has to be up and running before Singley can even get out of the Spokane County Jail. Reporting in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.